A Tory cabinet minister has been slammed today for holding undisclosed meetings in Israel. International Development Secretary Priti Patel met a politician and disability charity in the country in August, despite being on a holiday she paid for herself. According to reports, which two government departments have refused to deny, she did not inform the Foreign Office before holding the meetings. One minister told the BBC, This is outrageous. She is a cabinet minister. She just cannot do this. This is about donors and influence. Labour MPs say Ms Patel should be investigated to judge whether she has breached the ministerial code. The code states, Ministers must ensure that no conflict arises, or appears to arise, between their public duties and their private interests. Labour MP Joe Stevens said, she should be investigated for a breach of the ministerial code. MP Jess Phillips added, Pretty Patel was my bet to get the defense job, I was obviously not in view of all the facts. SNP MP Peter Grant joked, Dear Pretty, please stop undermining the UK's strategy for peace in the Middle East. That's my job. Yours, Boris. The meeting is an embarrassing revelation during a visit to Britain by Israeli PM Benjamin Netanyahu, who joined Theresa May for a dinner last night to mark the centenary of the Balfour Declaration. Politicians who spoke to the BBC accused Ms Patel of trying to win favour from pro-Israeli conservative donors in case there is a Tory leadership bid. She met Yair Lapid, a former finance minister who leads of Israel's centrist Yeshaded party on August 24. He tweeted a picture of the encounter that appears to show the pair sitting in an outdoor area of a cafe or restaurant. Mr. Lapid appears to be wearing a t-shirt under his jacket while Ms. Patel is wearing sunglasses and a summer dress. A second meeting took place with Badesi Shapiro, BIS, a disability charity and campaign group. Pictured with her on August 28 was Lord Polak a Tory peer who is the Honorary President of Conservative Friends of Israel. Lord Pollock told the BBC the meetings were informal and all very innocent. Official paperwork which shows a full list of declared meetings by each minister has not been published for August yet. But three sources told the BBC the meetings were not declared to the Foreign Office in advance. It is supposedly a convention to inform the Foreign Office of foreign meetings, although it is not explicitly mentioned in the Ministerial Code. A Foreign Office spokeswoman refused to comment on nor deny the claim it was not warned of the meetings, instead telling the Mirror to speak to Ms Patel's Department for International Development. Gvid also refused to comment. A source at the department said, she was on a private holiday which she paid for herself and that's it. The Prime Minister's official spokesman said no investigation into Ms Patel's meetings has taken place, or is taking place. Asked if ministers should tell the Foreign Office about such meetings in advance he said, I think it depends on the circumstances. Ministers would go on holiday with their families to different countries all the time. I don't know who she met, so. I don't know the circumstances.